Well, new reaction tonight to the Tuscaloosa City School District getting over a major hurdle in getting that property tax referendum. That Tuscaloosa City Council Tuesday night voted to send that on to the state legislature. Brian Henry is live from Tuscaloosa with how the school system's responding to a next step here. Well, Jonathan Sarah, City Public School Superintendent Dr. Mike Daria was very pleased. No surprise there, but admitted this was a long way from being a done deal. The next step in green lighting the referendum, Montgomery. The Tuscaloosa City Council passed the school tax referendum by a simple majority with Councilman Lee Busby casting the loan no vote. Still a big win for the school district. Superintendent Dr. Mike Daria said by phone earlier today he was grateful but admitted the referendum now faces a bigger challenge, a bigger stage with the Alabama legislature. You know, we're just one step at a time. Uh, we certainly, uh, getting through the city council and getting their approval was our first step. Um, so now we'll, we'll move on to the next step. And we're just focused one step at a time and really keeping our eyes on um, the, the ability to allow the voters of the city to make this decision to, to increase funding and support um, for the Tuscaloosa City Schools. Dr. Mike Daria says the last time Tuscaloosa City residents approved a property tax increase was in 1986, 37 years ago. Since that time, the school district has grown, and so has school district needs, such as better school security, teacher training, and better academic programs, according to Dr. Daria. We have plans to be enormously uh, present and communicative on this. We want to be enormously transparent with our public, uh, giving them exactly why this is necessary and exactly what the funding would be. Under the school property tax proposal, the proposed increase would be 11 mills, enough to generate more than $17 million more per year for the school district. District. This would benefit all schools, all students, well into our future. Alabama lawmakers begin the new legislative session February 6. If the legislature approves the referendum, Tuscaloosa City residents will likely get their chance to vote on it in August of next year. Tuscaloosa Councilman Lee Busby said it made sense for him to vote against the referendum because, in his words, this district has no schools, fewer than 20 students, and skyrocketing home prices. You can read Busby's entire statement and the web version of the story on WBRC.com and Tuscaloosa Brian Henry, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side.